Scout played really hard this morning. <laughs> Look at that poor thing. Well, good morning, guys. We are getting ready to go back to Home Depot. Josh was there yesterday getting flowers with his dad. And I think we're gonna go back today because we are gonna get some soil and, oh, he's calling me right now. He's up at the car with the baby, so I need to hurry. <laughs> we are gonna get some soil because Josh's parents, they want to put a vegetable garden down in the canyon and I'll show you guys where that's gonna be. But um, that makes me really excited because in college, Josh and I had a garden that was like our baby. It was, way back I don't even know if we were allowed to do it but it was this like perfect patch of dirt that was not being used by our campus at all and we turned it into a full-blown garden I'll insert a couple pictures here it was so awesome I that was like my little retreat between classes every if I had any sort of a break between classes I would go straight to my garden and I would pick through it and weed it and water it and I just loved it. It was seriously my baby. So I'm super excited at the thought of a vegetable garden and I think we're just going to go um, look and see what we can find. I'm not sure if we're going to get any of the actual vegetables today. Me personally, I would want to start everything from seed, which is what I did in our garden that we had before but I think his parents want to start with some more mature plants. So maybe we'll do a mixture of some plants that are already growing and then maybe I'll add a few other things in with some seed, but I'm just excited at the thought of a vegetable garden. All right, you guys, we are picking out some veggies. Hi, are you helping? We've got some green beans, some kale, some bell peppers. What else are we going to get? I think Scout's a little sleepy. Look at all the baby corn. <laughs> How low are you going? Check this out guys. This is like a bridge, like a tree that fell. Crazy. Walk across the bridge. You're gonna get poison ivy. Okay, so here's the garden so far. We're kind of building the box right now. Ollie, I see you. She is so sad she can't come down. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a leg, huh? Is that a funny leg? <laughs> good girl, Olive. You're a good girl. Oh, look what Scout's doing. Are you going to pull yourself up? Come on, you can do it. Oh. This thing isn't the sturdiest. It slides on the rug, huh? Can you stand up? Come on. Wow, you did it! Yay! Good job! Oh my goodness! That's her first time pulling herself up at that toy. Good job! I'm trying to think of something that I can put underneath this toy that will make it not slide around. <laughs> Are you guys playing together? <laughs> All of us getting in there. Okay, so here's my solution. These are little like felt things that go on the bottom of chairs so they don't scratch your floor. And I put one on each corner. So now I just need to flip it up. There we go. Okay, now try to pull yourself up and see if it slides. Hey. Hi, Scout. Uh oh. Oh. What are you doing? 
Are you ready to go to bed? You tired? <laughs> so cute. We should experiment and just Sleep let her, her let her sleep free tonight, however she wants. She still sleeps in her sleep suit every single night. She has never slept without it. And I feel like she wouldn't sleep without it. <laughs> One time she walked all the way around her crib and it was hilarious. Huh. Really? goodness you guys I can hear <gasps> I can hear the teeth grinding don't eat your crib right. scout you're making marks in your crib and look at that drool on your face that is unreal poke poke right, boring poke boring poke <laughs> <laughs> don't you dare call this vlog boring <laughs> <laughs> huh tell everybody good night scout Say good night. <laughs> well, what time is it? 10.53. Scout is already asleep, you guys. Josh, get a life. Look at this. I'm not answering. Are you gonna leave a voicemail? <laughs> she lost her chance. <laughs> Were you going to ask me on a date or something? Yeah. Anyway, Scout is already asleep. I am trying really hard to get her on an earlier schedule. <sighs> you guys, she's eight months old and we have never experienced the, like, putting your baby to bed and having a few hours before the end of the night while she's asleep. Mm -hmm. I just got a text from Josh. Anyways, we've never experienced that because we've just had Scout on our schedule. So we go to bed around midnight, one o'clock. She goes to bed at midnight. She sleeps until it's getting crazy because she's sleeping longer. So now she's sleeping to like 11 in the morning. And I've just started feeling like, okay, that's not a practical schedule at all. So the past two or three nights, she's gone to bed at like nine o'clock tonight was a little bit later it was like 9 45 because i don't know she just wouldn't go to sleep but it's still a major improvement and she's been waking up around nine in the morning which is a lot more realistic so anyways that's the scoop and now that we are parents that have a couple hours before we go to bed without a baby I'm pigging out on some ice cream with chocolate and strawberries and a fresh cup of coffee. And Josh was laying on the couch watching, what were you watching, Vines? Yeah, I was watching Vines. Look at Olive, she's like playing with Olive Scout's toys. I'm just kidding, she's not. Olive does pretty good knowing her toys between Scout's toys. Huh. Olive, where's your bone? There it is! Good job! You guys, it was so cute. Scout was playing earlier and Olive got really excited and grabbed her bone and went and laid right by Scout and wanted to chew her bone right by Scout. And it was so sweet because that means Olive is like comfortable and happy when she is willing to chew her bone. That's like a really good sign. But I freaked out because I just do not want to take the risk of like Scout grabbing for Olive's bone and anything like bad happening. So I had to move her, but I thought it was such a sweet gesture that she like did that because that means she really like loves Scout. So I'm gonna go ahead and end tonight's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and for everybody who has been commenting. I know a few of you have said, you guys aren't boring. <laughs> Thanks for that. You know, I think it's kind of like, I feel like as a vlogger, you go through phases where like, there are exciting things happening in your life and the vlogs feel like they're more interesting but then there are definitely times where life is kind of just normal and I guess to me I worry that that's boring for you guys but I'm sure 
you like seeing our just normal life anyway. Um, sometimes I feel like we have to like go out and do things so that we'll have something to film. But I think it's good to remind myself that even if we just spend a day at home, I can still vlog it and it's not necessarily boring. So <laughs> you would think after like three years of vlogging, I would kind of have this down, but it's kind of crazy how you're always learning as a vlogger. So anyways, thank you for watching and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. It's cool in here.